Today on Astrofocus, we will talk about Mars, the red planet. I'm David and welcome to Astrofocus, where we explore the universe in great detail. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in our solar system. It's one-sixth the size of Earth and orbits around the Sun at an average distance of 220 million kilometres. It's named after the Roman god of war and is commonly referred to as the Red Planet. Mars has this nickname due to the iron in its soil that shows all over the planet which gives it a red appearance. Mars has two moons called Deimos and Phobos. These moons are rocky and misshapen and are speculated to be asteroids that came too close to the Martian planet. Both unusual moons were discovered in 1877 by Asfath Hall and are named after the characters Phobos and Deimos who, in Greek mythology, accompanied their father Ares, god of war, into battle. The Martian landscape and atmosphere, despite it being one of the largest candidates for future human colonisation, is still pretty deadly compared to Earth. The landscape is covered with canyons, volcanoes and craters. Like Earth, it has clouds and wind, and sometimes the wind blows the red dust into a dust storm. Tiny dust storms can look like tornadoes, and large ones can cover a large area of ground. Mars's gravity isn't as strong as Earth's, and so is about one-third the strength. A rock dropped on Mars would therefore fall slower than a rock dropped on Earth, basically meaning that objects weigh less on Mars than they weigh on Earth. A person who weighs 100 pounds on Earth would weigh only about 37 pounds on Mars because of the difference in this gravity. Since 1965, NASA has always been sending spacecrafts and rovers to the planet to explore and find more about it. At this current moment of me recording this, three spacecrafts are orbiting Mars and are completing tasks such as using scientific tools to measure the canyons, volcanoes and craters, temperature and the minerals on Mars, and of course taking pictures and searching for water. There is not only spacecrafts, but there is also two rovers that explore the surface of Mars, and they're called Opportunity and Curiosity, and NASA used these rovers to learn more about Mars. In the future, NASA plans to send more rovers that could potentially collect soil on rocks and bring them back to Earth to be studied. And of course, NASA also plans to send astronauts there one day to colonise the planet and try to sustain a colony there. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you later.